What's up guys, it's Josh from Keep It Techie and today I wanted to do a quick video showing you guys firewalls on Linux. So the application I want to talk about today is UFW and let me pull up the page. Uh, I'm going to do the demonstration on Ubuntu. So I'll pull up the Ubuntu uh, introduction page. Uh, and so let's read about it. It says for an introduction on firewalls, we see, okay, this link for firewalls. Uh, so UFW actually stands for uncomplicated firewall. And basically what it is, is a simple tool that sits on the front end of act, the actual uh, IP tables, which is what actually handles the complicated task of handling the firewall. And so just to read a little bit right fast, it says the default firewall configuration tool for Ubuntu is UFW developed to ease IP tables firewall configurations. Um, UFW provides a user-friendly way to create an IP version 4 or IP version 6 host-based firewall. Uh, by default, UFW is disabled. And I'll show you guys that later, uh, that UFW, it actually comes on most distributions, uh, like I stated already, but it's disabled by default. So you actually have to go in and turn it on. But uh, most um, desktop versions of uh, Linux or Ubuntu, different distributions, they come with uh, the GUI version, which is GUFW. So it's basically the GUI version of UFW. And it's pretty simple to use that one. But I want to show you guys today how to actually manage it from the command line. It's pretty simple. It's a few commands that you run. Um, and some of it's down here. You can go to this website, check it out, help.ubuntu.com, get some more information. But I'm going to show you guys on this video. So let's get started. So first off, let me explain. I'm uh, using Ubuntu Server 18.04 uh, for this demonstration. Uh, and I want to show you guys how to go on and set up uh, UFW. As I explained previously, uh, UFW is installed and all you have to do is start and enable it. So I want to show you that now uh, it's two commands. It's basically sudo system ctl enable ufw dot service and press enter type in password press enter and that will create the symbolic link for uf ufw and actually enable it uh, uh so when you reboot the system uh, ufw will start up uh on boot so the next thing you need to do is actually start the service because you can't actually turn on uh, the uh, firewall until you actually start the service. So if we go um, sudo system ctl start ufw dot service and press enter on that and that will start the service. Now, don't get this confused with actually turning on a firewall because this actually doesn't turn on the firewall, uh, these two commands. So you have to one run, you have to run one more command to start the firewall. And the reason I'm showing you guys in virtual box, uh, is because if I SSH to this system right now, well, once I enable it, I'll lose my SSH connection because it'll close all ports when, whenever you enable it. The default is to deny everything. So, first command, I mean, the command to do that is basically sudo ufw enable. And this will actually enable the firewall for you. All right, so that lets you know right now that the firewall is active and enabled on system startup. So, just to check the status of it, I want to run another command, and it's basically sudo uh, ufw status. And this is something you can use throughout uh, working with your um, with your firewall. 
uh, once you have everything set up, it'll start listing whatever you have, whatever ports you have open on your system and all that. It'll list underneath that uh, everything that you have set up on your configuration for the firewall. OK, so one thing that I want to show you guys uh, that's built in the UFW, there are what they call apps and these are built in configurations for um most default applications that you want to enable on the firewall to uh, have access through or to open up those ports and the way you look at those is sudo ufw app list and they'll have like some default stuff like open ssh um, and it all depends on what you have available or installed on your system. So if you have this server or a computer set up as a web server, it'll show those applications on there as well. And it'll be pre-configured for you. So all you have to do is go through and actually enable the app. And it, like I said, it's stated under the name, like this is OpenSSH. And this is a great example to show you guys how it works when you actually enable um, an application because I'm going to actually SSH into the server after I enable it. So let's do that right now. And the command to, to enable this application is sudo uh, ufw allow um, open and you should be able to test. Well, you can't tab out, but just type out the application and good to go and press enter. And that will add the rules to the actual firewall uh, and the way to check the status of that. And this will show you the ports and everything. It should show you the ports and everything. Uh, you just go sudo UFW status again, press enter on that. And as you can see, open SSH. And the default port for SSH is 22. So on um, IP version 6 as well as IP version 4, um, it opened up the port 22. So you, I should be able to connect now. So let me switch over to my terminal right fast and SSH into the server to show you guys that it works. Okay, so now let me SSH into the server. And I already know what the IP address is. Uh, but it's SSH uh, 192.168.1.1. Uh, I apologize. 168.10.113. Press enter. And I've already SSH into this server uh, before I enable the firewall. But that lets you know right there that... Uh, you can actually get in now and the firewall is actually working and the SSH port is open for you. And we can run the status check again by just going sudo um, UFW status and press enter. And this will show you the status. As you can see, it's active. And again, the uh, port 22 is open. So if you have other applications, they'll be listed under there. Uh, like I said, if it's a web server, it'll be listed uh, and you can add that application as well. So that's an easy way of doing it. OK, so now let, now that I showed you that, let me show you how to actually delete an application or delete an, a, an actual port that's open. So it's basically the same command, uh, but you want to. Uh, put delete in there. So let me show you exactly how you do it. Instead of uh, UFW and actually sudo UFW um, delete. And then you want to do allow, which is basically you want to put the exact same thing you put in when you actually enabled it or allow it allow uh, SSH connection. So you have to put the delete in between though, which is, I mean, it's, it's kind of weird the way they have it set up, but you actually have to put the action and the actual application or um, IP addresses or whatever you have set up. You have to put delete in between those, the two uh, commands of, in between the two words of UFW and allow, just put delete. 
and then you basically specify the application and I'm not going to actually run it, but I know this is the command. So all you have to do is hit enter on this and this will remove the actual open SSH allow uh, from the firewall. Okay, so I showed you guys how to actually do this for uh, one of the applications that's already installed. But let me show you how to do it on uh, just a random port. Let's say you want to open up. Um, for instance, I use port 8080 for like specific websites. And, um, and so just to show you guys how to do that, you just go sudo uh, UFW allow. 8080 and so this will add those rules and if we run the status command again so it's sudo ufw status and as you can see port 8080 is open now on this server so uh and like i said when you don't when you do it uh it adds um the version 4 so ip version 4 as well as ip version 6 uh, on everything that you add okay and so the last thing i want to sh want to let you guys know that ufw uh does uh logging on your system and it's a way to turn that off and i'll just show you that command just just to you know add to the actual tutorial but it's basically shoot sudo ufw logging off and that'll turn off the logging for ufw so it doesn't you know fill up uh the kernel you know the d messaging with a bunch of messages uh on all that and lastly i just want to talk about the gui version that there is a gui version and the gui version should come on most of your distributions i know on the ubuntu desktop uh version it has a gufw uh application within um it's just in within the application list so you just go through and find uh it's basically a GTK front end for everything we're doing in the command. But as you can see, these commands are super simple once you get it down. Uh, but you can actually, you know, use the GUI version if you you're if you're used to, you know, using GUIs for everything. Uh, it's pretty simple. It's the exact same thing. You could just go in and select um, different applications you want to allow through your firewall you can actually enable it you can disable it you know all from the actual application um, but as you can see these i try to push people to you know work in the command line it's it's pretty simple to you know uh get into it and learn it uh so just check it out for yourself check out ufw enable it uh mess around with the ports uh just don't do it over ssh if you're messing with the ssh port uh make sure it's open uh because you can lock yourself out your system especially if it's like a headless server that's running in the cloud somewhere uh just make sure you still have access to that server um by opening the ssh port so i hope you guys enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe to the channel uh give me a thumbs up if you really enjoyed the video uh, and of course, keep it techy.